Here I'm going to tie another uh, bloodworm. This is a size 12 uh, grub style hook. You can use a lighter wire, you can use the heavier wire, this is the heavier wire version. And it's quite a simple fly, there's only really two materials in it. So if we take a little bit of red marabou. Round the bend. I'll leave us our tail. Now you can leave that as long as you feel like, but just rip it off to the length that you require. Don't cut it off because if you cut it off, you'll get very square ends on it. And the body itself. is uh, red flexi floss or span flex or whatever you want to call it. that backwards over our thread portion. As you get to the back you can put a bit more tension on it and it should give you a narrower tail and then I'm going to take it a turn or two down past where my thread went. the flexi floss itself that is exact is tying in the tail. And I'll come forward with that. A little bit less tension as I come across the middle and then a little bit more tension as I come to the head to give me a little bit of taper. Stretch that, cut it off. UV gel. Coat the whole flame. Turn it upside down to let the gel settle a little bit. I don't want the bulge of it underneath. And then we'll use our UV torch. That is essentially the fly tide, but sometimes your UV gels can be a little bit tacky. So 
of your tech when your fly is finished. Like that. Take a nice clear varnish, a good thin one, and just give it a coat of clear varnish. And that sets. It'll get rid of the tackiness. There you go, a little bloodworm pattern tied with uh, Spanflex and Red Marble.